The speeds are phenomenal. In the case of the Perseids, the closing speed is about 130,000 miles an hour. And at that speed, the friction with the Earth's atmosphere actually vaporizes the tiny object. But one the size of a pea would probably produce a fireball that would light up the landscape and an incredible celestial fireworks display courtesy of nature. Hello, my name is David Moore. I'm the founder and chairman of Astronomy Ireland and the editor of Astronomy Island magazine. Well, tonight is the peak of the best shooting star shower of the year, or meteor shower to give it its correct name, the Perseids, which will produce about 20 times more shooting stars than an average night. On average, in the countryside location, you might see one every 10 minutes or so. Now you could be seeing more than one a minute. I know I did last year from a nice dark sky. Well, the shooting stars themselves come from a comet called Swift Tuttle. It goes around the sun every 120 years and was last closest to the sun in 1992. And it spreads dust all around its orbit. So it's probably been around the sun thousands of times. So there's dust everywhere in its orbit. So even though the comet's gone away from us, the dust is still there. And at this time of year, we come to this point in our orbit where we plow through the deepest part of that dust. And the peak will be tonight, August the 12th, into the morning of August the 13th. Well, this year there's a moon around and it's going to brighten up the sky. Well, for people in the towns and suburbs, that's not going to make any difference. Their sky is going to be bright all year round thanks to the lights. The moon will be low in the south, so if you can look in the north, then that's the best place to look. And once your eyes are used to dark, you can contribute to the sum total of human knowledge. Do real science simply by counting the shooting stars with your eyes. You don't need binoculars or telescopes, just normal eyesight and count how many you see every 15 minutes then you can send that to Astronomy Ireland and we'll be publishing a report about how many people saw. You can do real science just by counting. <laughs>